In America, the liar in a strange man thinks he has rights to a woman. That woman might be flighty, she might be a tidy, she might be anything, but that man thought he had the right to put his hands on someone. When Lieutenant Lackus did that in a jail in Marion County, Indianapolis, women across America lost. Men across America failed, and openly they destroyed a man by castrating him. The liars of America do this. The Indians of the Muslim world, including Vice President Harris, do this. The liars say, what's one more to be harmed? What's one more to be taken? What's one more to be killed? Because we now own America, because our Vice President has now claimed from being black to now being Indian. When most American citizens would have just said, claim to be American. The liars of America sit now in the White House. Biden promises diversity, he promises equality, he promises a pipeline that's like, great, get on with it, but it's perversity. Most Americans need to eat. The ability to eat is a human being's right. The ability to abuse someone's body is not a human right. It is a violation of human rights treaties. But police officers like to play in the shadows and in the lies of their life. And they never think about what the Lord Most High thinks of their life. They think they're righteous. They think they're above the law. They think they know it all. But what they did was sexually assault someone in jail, tie his beard in a knot, shave the hair on his body, shave his legs, shave his gonad area, and openly take photographs for their pleasure. Even a female officer or two who were butch dyke lesbians participated in the castration of a man. The castration of a man was their game. They didn't stop stalking. They didn't stop following. They crossed the state line making a federal issue into Illinois. And what they did was commandeer an Indian community that started to attack a boy so they could turn that boy into what they wanted. Something else. Some sort of toy for them to sexually assault whenever they felt like it. They used torture techniques. They used treason. They used everything but reason. The Lord Most High did not allow this at all. The Lord Most High did not tolerate this. The Lord Most High did not say it's okay to do this, but there's a female officer that's been stalking a man because she's a girlfriend of someone he once knew. And that lying little girl moved into his business community and started to attack his life interfere with his wife, and make a fuss like you can't believe. The drama queen of America has lost her way because now she's in a situation of being a cougar to an obscene man. She has now inherited allegedly four additional children when she could barely handle the ones she had at hand. The liars of America destroyed a man's life. And when she goes to heaven, what will God say? What were you thinking? What were you doing? What were you feeling? No. God will say, hell is that way. In America, we have rights to reach the Lord's house in our way. But the liars of America always dispose themselves into games every day. They fail to recognize that they are playing against the Lord's house when they sexually assault, abuse, and defy God's plan for someone. In the Marion County Jail, a prophet was there and told them that COVID was coming, but none of them understood that it wasn't buyer beware, it was God damn you beware. You destroyed America in your lie, thinking you had the right to sexualize an inmate, you had the right to interfere with that man's health, you had the right to take some nurses that were female and white and openly get them to lie about something they con you considered a placebo. The fat-ass black man named Green was having a gay old time on the scene. His butch who runs a cell unit, whose name you can't even pronounce, like Obrimsky, Obramsky, whatever the fuck it was, interfered with a man's rights to understand why his federally protected male from a Noblesville community was being sent to the jail. Maybe his marvelous sisters thought he didn't deserve the dick he had. Maybe they thought they'd infiltrate his sexuality that he had. But openly their lie was, I can talk to anyone I like about anything you have because you are my toy. You are my fuck play. You are everything, every way that I don't deserve in my life because I have a husband 
who loves me, but you have none, because you are not one, is what she wants to say, but that bitch Dibby Ensign will go to hell for her lie. Terry Ensign will be abused in hell because of her stupid little play, and Cynthia Louise Ensign will end up in hell for her lie to think she had rights to talk about a man. The liars of America will be caught along with a bastard brother who kept entering a community where his youngest sibling was and destroying every relationship he had, kept putting his hands in his pockets, and the bastards of Satan who stole $400 worth of cords from a homeless man are getting off on it because the police officers say, so what?